We see it all the time in the movies, where someone is falling from a building or a cliff face and gets saved by the hero. Help! Here. Oh, take my hand. Ah! But how realistic are these scenes? And could a fit guy like myself save someone hanging from the edge of a building? What if the person you're saving was weak or injured? To find this out, I devised three challenges to test out three different scenarios. Swinging someone to safety with one arm, having someone hanging off your ankles, and saving someone's life when hanging off the edge of a cliff with one arm. To find this out, I headed off to my local gym. What's going on everybody? Welcome to one of Australia's best Ninja Warrior gyms, uh, Ninja Academy. The first test was simple. Could I hang off one arm while simultaneously saving someone else with my other arm. So before I actually go full human body weight, I'm gonna just grab some of these dumbbells and work my way up. Obviously hanging on one arm for most people is already a little bit of a struggle. So to have a whole lot of weight as well is gonna be difficult. I'm gonna start, with, I'm just gonna grab the 30s. Come on, let's, let's be honest. <laughs> Jesus. And climb up and see if I can hold the 30 kilo weight just in one arm. See so how we go. So you gotta lift above your head, come on. <laughs> you got the harder job. Pick my strong hand. <laughs> It was difficult for sure, but I think if there was a, a baby, though I was swinging or a small child, I could probably fling them to safety just in time before I drop and sacrifice myself. Cause you know, I'm just that kind of guy. With the 30 kilogram test out of the way, it was time to let Olivia hang her full weight off one of my arms. Hold on, don't, don't. <laughs> And go. I <laughs> drop. <laughs> What I'm thinking next is maybe Olivia could be hanging off this and then I swing and we link hands and then she lets go and I swing and release her to safety. That's cool. I think I could reach your hand. I reach up, grab, swing, probably die here, but ultimately hopefully land on safety. Oh, I couldn't, why? Well, my leg's in the way. Yeah, yeah, that felt all right. Oh, okay. Man, I thought you were coming down. No, 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 no. I feel like a ragdoll. It's great for my health. Yeah, let's go. Wow. It felt really easy. That was actually a wicked success, um, super stoked. Pretty much like when it comes down to it, if I was in that scenario, I would feel confident to be able to save someone's life, which is actually a pretty big deal. And it's all thanks to Prime, thanks Prime. Right, next we're gonna try the next variation, which is essentially where I'm hanging off a ledge of some sort and Olivia's gonna be hanging off my ankles. She's gonna climb up and over me and then she's gonna help me get off. Sorry, that sounded weird. She's gonna help me get up and <laughs> I quickly realized that I couldn't actually do much to help Olivia at this point. It really did just come down to how strong Olivia was and if I could hold her weight for a long enough duration for her to climb up. Yeah, let's go. Wow. That's why it pays to be fit. If you're fit and you're ever in that scenario, you live. Welcome to the final test where we hang a human being off the end of my arm over the edge of a somewhat cliff face to see if I have the brute strength to be able to pull them up and save their life. Let's go test it out. Can I save a life? The real test. Yep, got it. All right. Three, two, one, action. All right. Okay, get there. All right, yep. Okay, do a lot of it yourself from there. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, so that worked. It was pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, once I got Olivia so she could grab herself on the edge of the lip, it was pretty much game over from there. However, the real test will be imagining if Olivia was someone that could not even do a single pull up. So let's go and test it again in a more realistic scenario. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Okay, I can't do that. Just two hands. Two hands is good. You got one hand there? Uh-huh. All right, hold on, I've got you. Two hands. I'm dying. I need to get to my feet. Can you hold there for half a second? Okay. I've got you. Uh, 
Jeez, that was way harder. Yeah, you have my dead one. <laughs> that was way harder. How'd you find that? Terrifying, actually. Right, that was a lot harder than the first time. As soon as you take out the equation that someone can do a pull up, um, it is exponentially harder. It's all on me. When we were in this position, what I found was getting from a laying position to a kneeling position. Dead, not dead. It was extremely intimidating for a moment there when I was just having a full weight and I'm trying to stand up and lift her over. Like even for this test, at any point, if my hands slip, like that's, that's a lot of danger right there. So we're gonna try it one final time and assuming that Olivia literally can't even hold onto the edge. Either it's a bad lip or she's not strong enough to hold her own body weight, whatever it is, let's imagine that and let's try it out for a final time. Ready? Okay, serious, bro. All right. <sighs> All right, jeez, if you can't grab that. <sighs> Reality hits right now as I'm trying to think of what to do. I actually have no idea what I would do in this scenario because I can't get to my feet and I'm just holding you. And if you literally can't grab this, I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna drop you. <laughs> right, so I guess the conclusion is that it's somewhat realistic to the movies. Uh, it's extremely hard to hold on to someone with their full body weight. Hope you learned something. Good luck to you out there. Get out there and start winning and learning. Oh,